Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing the new cigar from Villager, the La Meridiana, and this is the Toro. This is 6x54. These, the, to the Toros are box pressed, as you can tell. Really a pretty band, and one at the foot there. And there is your density. Has a nice feel in the hand. Now let me tell you a little bit about these cigars, because they are brand new to America. It's a European favorite, the La Meridiana. Uh, was released in 1998 and uh, gained a loyal following, following in Europe. The Villager Meridiana was conceived by Heinrich Villager as a way to pay tribute to some long lost Cuban cigar heritage. Now, the name is based in historical roots in a long forgotten Cuban factory named La Meridiana, factory owned by Pedro Murias, hmm. uh, was once uh, one of the largest and most well-known cigar factories in Cuba uh, and actually uh, determined, uh, you can see it in the cityscape of Havana uh, at the end of the 19th century. But Murias was forced to sell the factory due to unrest in Cuba during the Cuban War of Independence. The sale went through after the war ended in 1898. And just like that, the La Meridiana Cigar Factory was gone, as a factory anyway. Now about the cigar, it is a Nicaraguan Puro. It comes in 10 count boxes. And uh, I don't know any more about the blend other than it is a Nicaraguan Puro. Uh, there's a Corona, Robusto, Torpedo, Churchill, and today's choice, the Toro. Rene Castaneda, president of Villager North America, said, we feel that it is the perfect time to launch the Villager La Meridiana to the U.S. consumer. Uh, exceptionally elegant and flavorful cigar, and uh, these began shipping to retailers last month so they are out there and uh, you can find them so without further ado let's get right to it uh, the new villager la meridiana toro when you look at this cigar it has a reddish hue to it it's a reddish brown and i'm guessing that's almost why they picked the color of these bands because if you hide those, the cigar still has a reddish brown, a reddish hue, and uh, they just accentuate it even more. Now, speaking of bands, we have to remove this one here at the foot, and it comes off easily, and we'll see it later, won't we? Now, like I said, it has a good feel. I've had two of these already, and I'm not giving anything, anything away by saying I was very impressed by them. I hope this sample is just as good because uh, you're going to like what you hear if, if it does. Okay. flavors you get very quickly as you can see nice orange citrus nice peach brown sugar lots of cinnamon leather and black coffee did you hear me say peach it's an orange citrus peach combination 
very unique flavor, but very tasty. And it will blossom if this follows suit behind like the other two did. It'll blossom as we go along. Black pepper at about an eight initially. Especially when you're retro hail, you get a ton of black pepper, but uh, I would say the black pepper is, is one of the stars of the cigar and it is a very black pepper. So that's how you start. I'll come back at the third point or if anything else happens, but it's a good start. here at the first third 27 minutes in not bad and the cigar is blossoming the sweet citrus and peach combination is quite sweet and quite tangy there is uh, plenty of brown sugar and cinnamon plenty of black pepper the leather is at the perfect amount it does not overtake the cigar it just helps it it accentuates it Black coffee base is not intrusive. It is just just like the leather. It's a necessary part of the equation. And there is a little thread of nutmeg that I've noted in the mix that, again, is just essential to the flavors, does not intrude. You could call the cigar balanced because everything stands alone, but nothing overshadows anything else. The tangy citrus peach flavor is quite unique and very nice. Medium to full body. The finish is a little, a little of that peach like flavor, nutmeg and cream with a nice amount of lingering black pepper. I don't know why they waited this long to introduce this cigar to, to the United States. It, this is very good. I am describing the flavor as best as I can, but uh, people that tend to agree with my palate will really like this cigar. For the first third, I'm rating it at 95. It is, it very much reminds me, although it's not quite there, it reminds me of the Ramona Lonis. It's that sort of a big, bold flavor with a lot of sweetness. And it, uh, that's a, uh, a good thing. I'm anxious to see if it develops or blossoms anymore, but right now, if it stopped right now, it's a 95. Well, we got about two inches remaining, so that means we're finished with the second third. And the flavor tra trajectory stayed true. There's even a few caramel notes in there, giving it even more sweetness. There's also a touch of caramel on the finish now to go along with the nutmeg and peach-like flavor. Very sweet. Lingering black pepper is very good. I would call the cigar full-bodied now. the orange citrus peach and now sort of a cedary flavor in the mix too is by far the lead flavor brown sugar cinnamon nutmeg leather black coffee all still there it's not quite balanced now because there's more sweetness that you notice but that's not a bad thing this is this is might be the best villager or close to it that I've ever had. 
Again, why did you wait so long to debut it here? This should have been a, a no-brainer. But it got here, so that's all that matters. I see no reason to change my score initially of 95. It's just a good cigar. This is a, um, I mean, I would say now, even though I'm not finished with it, this is a box-worthy consideration. Definitely five-pack. This is good cigar. Let's see what the final third brings, but right now I'm just, nothing bad to say except that it's almost over. to the end so let's wrap it up it seemed to go just a tad quicker in the last third but might have been on me as far as not going to get perfect thirds regardless let me sum up the final third by saying nothing changed still just as enjoyable as it was just smoke it slow you know don't don't go fast with any cigar but these type cigars they all such great flavors when you go slow. Full body. Finishes unchanged and very nice. Pepper is still very good in this cigar. Oh, it has some nice sweet flavors. Mm. Citrus, peach, cedar, caramel. Oof. Villager has a very good cigar here. All I can tell you is you need to try it for yourself, you'll be just as pleased as I was. Final third, 95. Why change it? Overall score, 95. Excellent cigar. Priced around 1050. I didn't mention that before, but uh, for this size. But you've got to try it, folks. It's good. So there you have it. The Villager La Meridiana Toro. 95.